What is your excuse now for supporting this man? So guys, the world leader or a world leader just came out and stated that he is supporting Kamala Harris. Now, I find it interesting that a lot of people unsubscribed from channels like mine, mine, I think pinballs, anybody who spoke out against Vladimir Putin. When you idiots were going around talking about rooting for Putin, when you guys were like, yes, you know, he's going to save the world. He's going to straighten everything out. Now he's voting, or rather he's supporting Kamala Harris. He's supporting the very person you guys hate. And saying that she's a good person, that she's a good leader, we all know that it's not true. And again, because he is ex-KGB, he is actually, I think he's being facetious, but whatever. He's probably using reverse psychology. He might be doing that as well, but still... He's supporting her, and he's not supporting Trump, who supposedly was supposed to be friends with Trump. At least, according to Trump, they were friends. But friends don't stab friends in the back, at least not that hard, and not that publicly. So what are you guys going to do now? You guys sat there and told me that I was wrong, that I'm supporting the machine, and I'm, I'm supporting greedy America, and this guy's supporting the very person that represents greed and corruption. So now what are you going to do? You can't backtrack your comment because you idiots sat there and, and repeatedly said rooting for Putin that he was going to save America. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris is going to destroy America. She is the worst person to be running for president. She was on her way to being released or kicked out or fired from running as a running mate for Biden or with Biden. And now she's the golden child. Now her polling went up, and now it's flatlining because she's losing momentum. But after that debate that I personally believe Trump torched on purpose, she is staying where she is. Her polls are not dropping, but they haven't gone up. Now with the support of Taylor Swift, we could see her polls going up a little more. I personally believe Trump torched that debate on purpose because how stupid can you be to fall for the trap that was set for you and you knew they were going to set for you that's like a bear looking at a bear trap and going i'm going to walk to it anyway and see if it goes off so now he went off script he sounded like an idiot for most of it he had some good points and that's the points that they keep replaying on instagram but still he torched his debate like almost like on purpose i feel and i told you guys this before i think he's going to tank his own election Without a doubt, I think the threat is out. I think the bullet whizzing past his ear was the first step. After they missed, they gave him a threat on his family, his entire family. So I think he's playing this out because the rest of Trump's kids are very, very quiet now. If you notice, you don't hear shit from any of them. All right. So now Kamala Harris is gaining the support of a scumbag world leader known as Vladimir Putin who is ex-KGB and is a master manipulator. That was one of his fortes as a KGB agent, being a master manipulator, and he was also good at uh, interrogation. And in interrogating guys, you manipulate people to tell you the truth or to convince them of something that's not real. And he is good at that. And he does that with the rest of his nation. He does it with the rest of the world. And unfortunately, a lot of you idiots said, oh, Putin's going to, he's going to free us all. Well, he's not freeing us now because he's backing somebody that I know what you guys are thinking. He could mentally beat up on like a retard because she is. And so he's picking the weaker of the two because Trump is the stronger candidate and she is the weaker. And maybe he's being facetious, like I said earlier, and he's running with that. Maybe. Nonetheless, you're enemy of this country is supporting the other enemy of this country and now you guys must feel like jackasses i mean at least i hope you do i hope you guys are losing sleep over this shit and screaming at putin pictures and tearing them in half and burning them in bonfires and getting naked and rubbing jelly all over yourself and whatever you fucking psych patients do when you fucking side with an enemy of this country now i said before i will say it again guys you are not to put stock in politicians that is not what we do but a lot of you people do that. 
People do it for, with Trump, they do it with Kamala Harris and Biden, so on and so forth. You guys keep putting stock in these morons. Yes, can politicians help with a lot of things? They can, but key word is help. They're supposed to help us not run the country. They're supposed to help us and not tell us what to do. You people put stock in these morons and then look what happens. They turn around and stab you in the back, as Putin did with a lot of you Putin supporters as a lot of politicians have in the past and will continue to do it because we put all the power in their hands instead of telling them you're here to help us fucko not the other way around you to help us run this country not run this country and tell us what to do we're not the servants you are we're paying you to do your job and not to tell us what to do as your as if you're acting like we're your employees you're the employee to us, not the other way around. And somewhere along the line, politicians forgot about that. Lost sight of it, and here the fuck we are. Every, almost every nation in the world is running the country instead of the people running the country. Like I said, almost every nation, not every nation. We are in a mirage when everything is actually a dictatorship because look at all the laws they write. Look at all the taxes they impose on us. That's a dictatorship. It's with the illusion of freedom, but it's a, a dictatorship. Because if it was freedom, we shouldn't be paying half these taxes. If it was freedom, we should be telling them, no, we're not paying that tax. We're not paying that tax. Instead, they tell us what taxes we're paying. They tell us what we're going to do. We're going to wear a seatbelt. You're going to put a motorcycle helmet on. You're going to do X, Y, and Z. You're going to pay more taxes on your home. That's a dictatorship. They don't put any of this shit to vote. They just do it. And that's in all nations. Certain nations, not all nations, most nations, but certain nations, they ask their people, who do you guys think about this new tax for? And then they tell them what that new tax is for. Here in the United States, they just tell us this tax is, and that's it. And then we're paying it. And people are telling us, oh, there's no way out of it. There is a way out of it. Don't fucking pay it. Another way out of it is showing up at these politicians' home who sign these new tax bills and breaking their fucking balls. That is how we handle the situation. But nobody wants to do that. Everybody wants to be a fucking coward and just stay by and do what, do what they think needs to be done. But what needs to be done is we need to take back this country by showing up at politicians' home and making their lives a living hell. Right out of the gates. They can't lock us all up. But anyway, guys, stop supporting these politicians. Stop looking at them as their savior. They are not your savior. Trump is not going to save America. Harris is not going to save America, Putin's not going to save the world, and Xi Jinping is not going to fucking save China and the world. It doesn't work that way. These people are about ego. Ego is what fuel a lot of these people, and power, which is absolute and very addictive. That is what runs the world as well. Money is the bonus. The power is what everybody wants, and they want to keep it. Look at Putin. Putin's going to stay in the power because he likes that power. Not because he wants to care for his people. Not because he wants to protect his country. Because he loves that absolute power. That's what it's about. It's always about. It's not about anything else. Anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel.